Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for November 2nd of 2024 is titled Saturn at Night. So what do we see here? Well, here, as you might expect from the title, we see the planet Saturn. But we're seeing the night side of Saturn, and we see it as a crescent phase. And you can see the very thin crescent along the top there that is actually illuminated by the sun. Now, how do we see the crescent phase and the night side of Saturn? Well, the only way you can do that is to travel out beyond Saturn and look back. When we look from Earth, we're always looking away from the sun. So we're going to see Saturn fully illuminated. And that's unlike some of the inner planets where we can see them between us and the sun and see different phases. For Saturn, we would always see it in a full phase. Now, when you travel out behind it, as the Cassini spacecraft did, and took this image, that is when we can actually see the nighttime side of Saturn, or any other outer planet for that matter. Now, this is one of the last images taken by the Cassini spacecraft before it plunged into the atmosphere of Saturn on September 15th of 2017. That was the end of its mission, and to avoid any potential contamination with its moons, it was directed to plunge into the atmosphere at the end. So this was one of its last things that was taken, uh, one of the very last images to be taken by the Cassini spacecraft. Now we can see Saturn itself, but we don't see much structure there because we're looking at the night side. Saturn does have some light banding structure that we can see. But of course, Saturn is prominently known for its ring system. And we can see the very distinct rings there. And you can see all of the structures within the rings as well. The rings are just not a flat disk of material around the planet. They are actually billions of tiny particles orbiting. So you can think of each of them as a tiny little moon orbiting around the planet Saturn. Now in this case, we can see the various structures and that there's some areas that are brighter and some areas that are very dark. There are large gaps there where there are no or at least very few ring particles. And those occur because of what we call resonances with the orbits of some of Saturn's moons. And in fact, all of the structures that we see within the the Saturn's rings are because of the moons of the planet. As they orbit around, their gravitation will affect the orbits of the ring particles and cause them to bunch up in certain areas and to be depleted in other areas. And that gives the rings of Saturn the very distinct structures that we see in our picture today. So that was our picture of the day for November 2nd of 2024. It was titled Saturn at Night. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Gaze into the Abyss. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.